Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Rogue Legacy. I have decided we're gonna stream this today, and by decided, I mean I ran a poll and the viewers decided. So, in case you're unfamiliar with this game, this is very similar to, Dis to Dead Cells that I've been playing recently. My duties are to my family. It's a procedurally generated, sort of roguelike, roguelite, whatever you want to call it, where you uh, place people from this family. But I am loyal only to myself. And we are going to explore. This is the tutorial. I will do this really, really quick, because it just it is quick. There's no point in me grabbing any of this money or anything. But uh, basically, you can get runes that upgrade. You know what? I'll explain that stuff as we go along. For now, just know that we are a basic bitch vanilla character, and all we can really do is jump and attack. But you do get, you know, double jump, dash. You get different things like, you know, uh, life steal from killing enemies. And uh, the characters that you can pick, I think you can pick between three every single time you die. And it will be de a descendant of one of the, you know, of the guy that you previously just played as. And they have different traits. Some of them are just cosmetic, but a lot of them actually make big differences. So think of this kind of like a mix between Dead Cells, Castlevania, Binding of Isaac, that type of thing. You'll see more as we're going along. Hello, Mr. King. Die! So that's the intro to the game. Let me know if the uh, if the in-game sound is too quiet, because so I can turn it up. It should be about right. I don't know, man. It might be it might be a tad quiet. So uh, we just play as that guy. As you saw, we killed the king. There is actually a storyline here, and you find it out through journals. So just keep in mind what happened there with us murdering the king with that dude. So this is the um, <clears throat> the boss door. Excuse me. To the final boss. As you can see, there are five symbols on the door. The one in the middle is the boss himself. The other four are different bosses. There are four different areas. So there's the castle itself. This little eyeball up in the top left, that's the boss of the castle area. There's the forest. I believe it's that one, the top right. That's the boss of that. I think the skull is the boss of the the area directly above us. Or the other way around, uh, which is called the Maya, I think. In other words, the tower. And then there is the dungeon right down below us, as you might imagine. Where the thing in the bottom right, that's the boss of the dungeon. I'm trying to be vague here by describing what the bosses are, etc, etc. So this is our first journal entry. I think it's like 25 of these. And they will explain the story of the game as we're going along. So I'm going to read it real quick. Treason! An assassin has wounded my father, the king. To bring order back to the kingdom, he has sent my siblings and I on a quest to save him. Together, we will venture into the cursed woods and enter Castle Hampson. This cursed castle has stood on the edge of the woods since time immemorial. But rumor says... That within it dwells an item which will cure any ailment. Tonight I will get a head start over my brothers and sisters and set forth on my quest while they lay asleep. The foulest quest would be an embarrassment to my name. Indeed! So again, we are the basic bitch vanilla car- Oh my god, this room's gonna really suck ass. We are the basic bitch vanilla character. I can't- How can I possibly make around in this room? So, the uh, the procedural generation of this game can screw you a little bit. I won't lie to you. It's, uh, it's definitely not perfect. Maybe I could have made it through that room without getting hit, but uh, it felt like I just didn't have the upgrade I needed. They they expect you to die super early with this character, because he can do basically nothing. Oh my lord. Oh my lord, what did I do? I'm very out of practice, by the way. Very, very out of practice, in case that wasn't obvious, and it should have been. Why? <laughs> okay, we're fine. We're fine! We're absolutely fine. We're nearly dead already, but we're fine. I was hoping to last a little bit longer with this basic guy. Yeah, give me a chest. Okay, so sometimes from those chests you can get blueprints. Blueprints, just like in Dead Cells, unlock uh, different weapons and things that you can use in the future runs. Uh, differently, though, you can actually equip them from the start. It's not just that they will show up. You don't get different weapons and things like that show up. You get blueprints to allow you to buy and thus equip new weapons and armor pieces. What's up, Unfair Lady? Are political jokes okay in this chat? I mean, you can do what you want. Like, if you... Just, you know, don't be nice to each other, you know? Nobody likes Trump, even the people that voted for him. So, by all means, rip on Trump. I'm assuming that's what's going on here. I don't really know. Controversial statement that's not very controversial. No! <laughs> okay, so we've died as the basic character. Done absolutely nothing, but we got a little tiny bit of gold. So now we get to pick one of his descendants. We have Sir Hershey, like the chocolate, Sir Skunky, and Lady Stephanie. McMahon. So she's a barbarian. They all have different classes. These two are mages. She's got ADHD. She moves faster. IBS. 
irritable balance. She just like farts now and then. That's just uh, an aesthetic thing. Doesn't actually have any influence on the game. Every character has a different spell. So these two have uh, Flame Barrier, and this one has Shack Ram. We're gonna go with the Barbarian, as you might be able to tell from the helmet. It's a Skyrim reference because I think this game came out pretty much exactly around the time of Skyrim. So it's unlock the smithy. So this is basically like a skill tree, kind of. The first thing you have to unlock is the smithy. Only costs 50 gold. We only got 280 because we died super early. So we'll unlock the smithy. He does what you would think he does. The blacksmith can build the finest equipment in the world. I am losing my goddamn voice. Turning you into a veritably virtuous, violent villain vaporizer. Didn't think I was going to say that without fucking up, did you? Gathering blueprints will give him an even wider array of assorted armaments for your armory. I messed that up, though. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I suck. All right, so let's talk to the smithy. Welcome, hero. Maybe you can help me. I used to be the greatest blacksmith in all the land, but one day the monsters of this castle attacked my smithy and stole all my blueprints. Without those blueprints, I can only make cutlery and stuff. Please bring back any blueprints you find, and I can build the most amazing equipment ever. Ever. At a price, of course. All right, so you start out with this sword blueprint for the squire sword, and you start out with the squire limbs blueprint. You can see they put up our magic. So in other words mana. Uh, they do not, however... Actually, no. It's not mana. Mana is a different thing. They put up our magic, so our magic damage, I think. Uh, they do not, however, give you any armor. Chest pieces do give you the most armor. Helmets, as you can see, give you health and mana, so they don't increase your armor either. A little strange. We also have the, the helmet blueprint. I forgot about that. I was just testing you. So, we don't quite have enough to get the better sword upgrade, which I'm not gonna lie, actually sucks. You see down there in the bottom right, it says weight 0 out of 15. This will give us plus 15, which means we 15 out of 50, which would leave us with 35. If I did that math correctly, God, I hope I did. So, uh, you will eventually have to increase your total encumbrance, which you can do after you unlock health, I believe. So if we unlock health, uh, we can upgrade the knight, and then I think encumbrance is the next thing that pops up here. Yes, equip up. So every time we upgrade that, it will cost 80, we have 100, so we can do that once, and then we now have 60 weight instead of 50. And now we also have the Enchantress and the Architect. I will explain what those are when we unlock them after we die in this next run, because we will die, because that's what you do. And this is Sharon. I think it's how you pronounce it. Pronounce, pronounce it? What is going on with my brain right now? Pronounce it. One must pay the toll. Give Sharon all of your money and enter the castle. This is why I cannot stream... When it's this freaking hot in my room, man. My brain starts to melt, and then words just don't formulate properly when they come out of my mouth. Hello, Cond. How you doing, buddy? How are you? Alright, so let's see if we can go a little slow this time, and not get horribly murdered. As you can see, smashing these things is a good way of getting uh, money. You also may have noticed, I didn't really point out, but there are mimic paintings. You can see they wobble very slightly, so that's what was going on with those. Oh, lord. Yeah, we're gonna, uh... Yeah, use our spell a little bit more than we were last time. Yes, platforming, the thing that Jace is great. See that one wobbling? That's a mimic. And that's what we do to that. Oh, God, okay. Alright, so these trim chests, I think, have a... Not a guarantee, but a chance of getting you better loot. So, you want to unlock those things. Well, I say unlock. It's not like they're locked, but you know what I mean. Like, you want to get to them and grab them. And there we go. We got a blueprint for the squire chest plate. Fantastic. It should be pronounced like... Karen. Really? I've always heard it said Sharon. I'll take your word for that. But uh, that's basically the, uh, you know, the boatman that sort of takes people to the underworld. Like a gold coin. It's that guy from mythology, so. He charges you all of your money before you can re-enter the dungeon. Uh, and that's basically so you can't stack up money. However, there are perks in the skill, or, well, you know what I mean, like skills or whatever you want to call it in the, the perk tree, the skill tree that allow you to keep some of your money. I think 50% of the most, like when you fully upgrade it, but it gets very expensive. You end up having to pay them like 10 grand or something, maybe even more than that, uh, to actually get the next level of it at some point. Anyway, so this is a challenge room. As you can see, there is a fairy chest at the end. Fairy chests never have blueprints, they have runes in them. I think they can also have money if you end up uh, having like all the runes in the area or something like that. Oh, also stat upgrades, I think. Yeah, I think that's the way it works. I think basically if you have all the runes, then you start getting stat upgrades from them. But in any case, the point is, right now that will have a rune in it of some description. That rune will either give us an extra jump in the air, it will give us a dash that we can use. The dashes are extremely important. It will give us life steal, something like that. Runes are good. Some more than others. This one says take no damage. 
So if we can make it from here to the end without taking no damage, the contents of the chest will be ours. If we mess it up, it's gone. We, we, we can't just like leave and redo it. It's just we get one shot. We cannot do this because we do not have the dash. If we had the dash, we could dash across the spikes to the safe points. Because we do not have the dash, we literally cannot complete that run. Like, there's no point in even trying. We would land on the spikes. And we'll take damage and we'll be screwed. So, we may as well just leave it there. There's, there's literally no point. We'll just lose HP for nothing. So, yes. The, uh, the game is not set up that you can always do everything with your current character. For example, sometimes there are little crawl spaces in the wall. That only the dwarf characters can get into. So unless you are playing as Dwarf, you cannot get in there. And sometimes there's chests and fairy chests in there. Yeah. It's, uh, like I say, you can't always do everything. You can, however, lock down the castle by way of the architects. And that way you get, like, reduced money and some other different things are disabled when you go back in. But that's a way of going back in with a specific build of character to be able to get to certain things if you miss them the first time around. Alright, another journal entry, number two. Hello, I am the oldest child, I am not my father's favorite. I have always known he planned to leave me with nothing, but if I find the cure, everything will change. The victor will earn nothing less than the throne upon his plastic. Upon my ascension, my wife and my children shall move back into the royal quarters, back to the royal city, where we once again will be treated with the respect we deserve. No longer will we stand for gossip and petty slander of my cousins. The other dukes shall bow as we pass, but I am getting ahead of myself. I must keep my priorities clear, conquer the castle, find the cure, collect my reward. Your eternal realm. So it's a fairy standard challenge. Yes, guys, a fairy standard challenge. I remember your original series of this game, that final boss was insane. He's honestly not that bad, like when you get used to him. But he, he is intimidating at first. It's a cool boss either way. I don't think any of the bosses in this game are that bad when you know how to deal with them, and to a degree I do. So this is, um, like a rarer spawn of enemy. Well, kind of, yeah. He's like a mini-boss, basically, called Botis. As you can see, his name's up at the top. And, as you might be able to tell, we are incredibly underpowered to deal with good old Botis here. Of course, nothing has ever stopped me, so we're gonna try, but mm, he's almost certainly gonna kill me. I mean, we got him half dead, so it's working. The good old Botus, he's, uh, a little tanky. No, Botus, no! Oh, fuck me. See, having the air dash means I can get away from that attack much easier. Yeah, okay, so I think we kind of maybe needed... Hello, Marksman, we kind of... Maybe not necessarily needed, but the air dash would have made that, like, triple stab thing that he does really easy to avoid. Because you jump in the air over the first one, you dash over the second one, you land, and then you jump over the last one. Because we don't have the dash... A little difficult. And hello, Lakar. Alright. So. Do we want a Paladin? Do we want a Barbarian? Or do we want another Paladin? So, this guy has CIP. I can't remember how that works. Insensitivity to pain. I really can't remember what that does. Alzheimer's means the map is not very good. Glaucoma means you get, like, this dark fog around the screen. This guy's just got... Oh, he's got glaucoma as well. Oh, Jesus. Ah, I'm gonna go with the paladin with glaucoma. It's not gonna be good, but I don't think we've got much of a choice. So let's unlock the, uh, the enchantress for the runes. And then... I'll grab... Oh, no, we'll leave the architect for now, because I don't think he's that important. Let's talk to the... Yeah, there you go. Let's talk to this chick. We might just have enough money to get the air dash rune, because I think you start with one, but you do have to buy it and then equip it. Hello, hero! Can I borrow your ear for a moment? I'm in need of your help. I used to be a very very, <laughs> very powerful enchantress, but one day the monsters of this castle invaded my dreams and stole my knowledge. They encased the knowledge in runes, and without those runes, I suck at my job. Please, hero, if you find any runes, bring them back to me, and then I'll sell them back to you at a profit. At least she's honest. So that's the dash, I believe. Yes. Absolutely, we're going to equip that. I feel like that's basically necessary. And that is an extra jump. Maybe not basically necessary, but certainly necessary for some puzzles and challenge rooms and things like that. 350. We don't have 350. We got 125 gold. Can we get anything for that? We might be able to get the architect. In that case, let's grab the architect. The architect of the shield. There you go. The architect can lock a castle down and prevent it from changing. Like the layout of a castle, lock it down. Just make sure you can afford his fees. Pretty self explanatory. I already told you what he did, but let's talk to him anyway. Greetings, boy. Want to know a cool fact? I'm crazy! This lever here 
With a simple pull, I can prevent the castle from changing. This way, you can go through exactly what your ancestors went through. Impressed? You should be. How did I build this fantastic contraption with science, of course, and magic? Mostly magic, but my skills aren't free. If I lock this castle, I will take 40% of all the gold you earn. So there you go. If you go back in, you only get 60% gold. Here you go, Sharon. Have 25 gold, you greedy bastard. The architect, he's not useless. As I was saying earlier, like if you see a fairy chest or something like that that you cannot get to with your current character, that is where he's useful. On that though, like yeah, on that he is useless. But he does have a use, thus is not useless. But it's it's niche. It's his niche circumstance. For the most part, you will very rarely use him. I've definitely gone like entire playthroughs of the game. Because I've played through this multiple times. You might not realize it from how rusty I am. But I have. But I've definitely gone through multiple playthroughs of the game and never used him. So do bear that in mind. That guy will hit like a truck if he hits us. That's why we're trying to stay away from him. The chicken legs kill us. As you might be able to tell. We don't really know if they're going to drop from the, the furniture, so... Probably the smart play is to wait until you need healing and then go back and smash everything, but ain't nobody got time for that shit. Oh lord. Oh lord. Oh no. Okay. Buddy, come back here. Okay, hang on. Take your time, man. Take your time. Ain't, ain't no rush. Ain't nobody, nobody. Did I vote for Rogue Legacy? Who? I have no idea. Oh yeah, there you go. This, this is the dash, by the way. So you can see, you can do it midair. So when that guy's doing the, uh, the Botus guy's doing the sort of dashes back and forth, you can jump the first one, dash, and whilst he goes under you with the second one, by the time he finishes that, you'll land, and then you can jump over the third one. Without that dash, it makes him not impossible, but really, really bloody hard to avoid that, uh, that second part of the dash. Dashing. And you can get past stuff like that way easier as well. Buddy. Tua. See? Wouldn't have been able to do that if I didn't have the dash. This can be a mini boss sometimes. I think it's the mini-boss. Okay, no it's not. How do I... How do you read this thing? Oh, here you go. So, this is basically the developers talking about other games that they'd made. I will read this in the future, I will probably skip these things. Tribal Tales was the first project we had worked on months after the horrible experience with Band of Bears. It was a bit of a test project to dabble our feet in water of iOS gaming since we had never tried making something on mobile platforms before. The game was simple in concept as you tap numbers in sequence as fast as you could. To spice things up, we implemented several modes like tap backwards, hit numbers, and tap matching. We thought the scope was reasonable, but the game ended up taking, too, taking much more time than expected. It didn't help. It was all coded on Hackintosh. It was a pretty plain game. We could have done better, but we were all playing it safe after Band of Bears. There's a theme with like, as they're talking about all their other games, it's really depressing. They're always like, yeah, we tried this, took too long, it sucked, nobody liked it. Like, pretty much every game. I feel like Rogue Legacy was about their only successful game. Remember the thing you and Nick Fury have in common shield that can save your life? Yeah, I always forget to use this bloody shield. Oh, Christ. No! Ah! <laughs> God damn it. I thought I had it. I didn't have it. Uh, oh, by the way, that's one of those, uh, you see that there, the way the wall was discolored? That's one of those uh, dwarf holes. So you could run through there if you were a, a little fella. Good times. Oh, God. Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm bad. I understand that. I accept that. It's fine. I'm rusty. It's going to take me a couple of runs before we get back to the swing of things. As you might be able to tell. Thank God for that chicken leg. No! <laughs> I'm so bad. Oh, my God. I just fell. Oh, it doesn't make any sense. Just like, yeah, it's just fall off. Way to go, Jason. Way to go. Holy crap. Get out of here. Just get out of here. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, my God. Ooh. All right. I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, holy crap. So many freaking mimic paintings, man. Come here. Now we go. Alright, don't get hit, ever. Give me my cash. I need as much cash as I can. Be nice if we get a... Uh, basically, as I said, there is, a, there is a boss of every area. So there is a boss of this castle. You may not believe this, but with the very first character that you get given that has nothing, I have beaten that boss before. I've tried, like, beating as many bosses as I can without upgrading my character and stuff like that. You wouldn't think... It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. Uh, as you can see, when you get one of these teleporters, because that's what it is, it's a teleporter... On the left is always a chiku, a chiku, a statue with chicken in it. On the right is always a statue with manna in it. Good lord, brain. So that's the dungeon. 
Uh, these things signify entry points to either the dungeon or the forest or the mire. Or sometimes you will get a boss door sitting about here. And again, you'll have the same statue set up for the boss door. And I think a teleporter. Uh, so we're trying to find the boss of this area, basically. He's actually not that bad. Though having said that, I stand no chance. Because I am currently very bad. Very, very out of practice. But even so, the point is, when we get to the boss, he will have two chests uh, by his boss door as well. And those chests are mostly what we're looking for here, because usually they are the silver trim chests, so we'll get blueprints and stuff like that. Not always, but usually. And uh, blueprints will help us make our character more powerful, because right now, we're a little weak and I'm a little bad. Thank god we got some cash out of that chest. So hopefully you know the basics of how this works now. Good lord sir, please die, thank you. Alright, I still wish we had enough money to get that triple jump if I didn't suck so much balls. Or so much ass and so many balls. We would have done. I actually really like this. This is one of the mini games that you have. This is the, uh, probably the throw knife game. Let's see how good you are at your skills. You only got one shot, but it's free of charge. If you succeed, I'll give you a nice reward. You get five axes. Okay, so, this is the axe game. Destroy as many as possible. If you leave less than ten standing, you get a special prize. I think I've only ever done this once. Uh, there are specific places you have to stand. For example, like, here. And then, like, here. And then I think you have to sort of jump and do like that or something. That was awful. And then we got two more. Yeah, I left more than 10, but it actually wasn't that bad. We left 13. That was decent. So we made a good amount of cash there. You left more than 10 remaining. I guess you don't want the prize. Snarf. Yes, he said snarf. Get it, Jason. I'll try, man. Yes, we probably will be doing Gungeon, uh, maybe not next stream, or we might, I don't know, but... Jess did very kindly buy me Bayonetta, even though I told her not to, because she's stubborn. And, uh, she wants me to stream it, and, you know, I probably would anyway, so... We will probably be streaming Bayonetta next stream. The only reason I'm doing it now is because it would take taken too long to install, and I already, you know, were like... I was, I was like an hour late to the stream anyway, so I was like, you know what, let's just... Let's get on with this today. Okay, let's get... There's a lot of mage dudes in this room. Please die. Thank you. Is that a chest? That was a chest. Pay attention, Jason. For Christ's sakes. Give me a blueprint. Ugh. A single bag of gold? You freeloader. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. God, I wish we had lifesteal. It'd make my life a lot easier. Oh, Lord. Oh, no. The zombies are like the worst thing, man. They just pop out of the ground. I get ambushed by them so many times. Daddy. Okay, this is the bus door. Did not get silver trim chests, unfortunately. Did not get a blueprint. Alright, screw you, game. I see how it is. If we can fill our HP all the way to max, we'll give the boss... You know what? No, hang on. We'll try the boss in a minute. I would like to try and get, like, some more chicken or something. Because we can probably beat him with this base character. It's not that bad. I mean, it's not really a base character. We upgraded, like, a tiny bit of stuff. But you know what I'm saying. Like, pretty much a base character. He's not that bad at all. Uh, but I would like to get full HP. That seems like a smart thing. Now, again, we don't have any form of- Fucking Christ! Never mind then, never mind, it was, uh... I think that's a level 3 zombie. What a dick. What a dick. No blueprint?! Are you, like, fudging my brown hole right now, game? Like, what the hell? Is this the mire up here? No, it's not. Oh god, this room looks shitty. Okay, 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 we can- Okay. Okay, we're very low on HP. That zombie scared the shit out of me, I'd like to point out. Like, actually frightened the life out of me. That's gonna be a Mimic. It's not a Mimic, thank God. That is a Mimic. It's not a Mimic. Alright, I don't know what a Mimic looks like, apparently. Ah! So please... Okay, hang on. Just take your time. Yeah, so just take your time. Don't need to rush. Just take your time. And then kill him. Oh! Ah! Ah, okay. Chicken! Okay. Alright, we got chicken. We're still very, very low on HP. But we got some chicken. No! You stupid, chargy bastard. Okay, we're 9 HP. Look, we ain't gonna be being the boss this run. I'll spoil it for you. But damn it, we might as well try and get as much money as we can so we can actually get, you know, a triple jump. Or a double jump, whatever the hell it is. I guess this is a double jump. Yeah, double jump. So this is the entrance to the Maya. Maya is also terrifying. As you saw, that thing almost killed me. Uh, we've pretty much cleared out the entire castle, though. 
So at some point we're going to have to go to the forest if we want to carry on. The forest is significantly tougher than the castle. Because again, that's designed for you to go to after you've beaten this area and the boss and got a bunch of blueprints and stuff like that. We haven't found a single blueprint. Okay, that's a lie, we got one. But still, we got one blueprint, man. Like, the game's being a little, little just a little bit dickish. Oh, no. Okay, we're alive. We have three HP. <laughs> we're alive. God, why are you alive? Stop being alive. I want to be alive. There's so many paintings and things. Oh god, help me. Okay, we're good. Don't worry, we're good. We played for five minutes on the PS3. Wait, what did you play? Was it this? Yeah! And that cash came that sweet, sweet 20 gold. Totally worth it. Yeah, a vampirism room would rune would be extremely handy. As you can see, I can't see words properly today. I'm just gonna put that down. Oh no! I almost landed on the barrel. Okay, I'm gonna put that down to the heat because it's very hot. Okay, so that's like everything we kill on the run. That wasn't a horrible run, but like, we got destroyed by that freaking like level 3 zombie or whatever it was that popped out of the ground. Otherwise, we might be able to have a good shot at the boss. Gigantism, farsighted, farsighted, dwarfism, dementia, OCD. Uh, do we want to be a dwarf? Being a dwarf, sure, we'll be a dwarf. We'll be a barbarian dwarf. Uh, Alright, so, first things first. Yes, we, we're blind up close. This is like the opposite of what I have. Let's get this triple jump, because good lord. Good lord. There you go. Well, double jump. I keep saying triple jump. Alright, so now we've got like the bait. what I consider the basics. We've got the double jump and the dash. That's very handy. So let's spend money on getting the sword. And probably the chest plate, so we've got some armor. We'll get that as well for the extra HP. And sure, we'll get the gauntlets as well. And we actually still have a decent amount of cash to spend on uh, different things here. We can upgrade the mage, we can get magic damage up, we can get the barbarian upgrade. We're playing a barbarian right now, so sure, we'll upgrade the barbarian. Convert your barbarians into barbarian kings! Learn the secret shouts of the bears and shout at things until they explode. Yes. Again, a Skyrim reference. Uh, what is this? Attack up and unlock shinobi. Shinobi's good, I think. A little expensive, but we'll get that. Most dwarfs in real life are barbarians, that makes sense. According to, uh, you know... The Hobbit and things, yeah. The Shinobi, a super fast, super deadly warrior who wears a super headband. They can't take a lot of hits, but they can dish out the pain, believe it. Yeah, the uh, Shinobi, I think, just has a high damage output. Like, I, they might be a character... There's a character class that can't crit. I think it might be the Shinobi, I'm not sure. Uh, but either either way, they hit hard and they, they're fast. But they're super weak. They are glass cannons. Uh, let's get our attack up, and then we'll get mana up. Alright, we spent almost every tiny little bit of our gold. So now we might be able to make a decent shot at killing the first boss. I don't know if that's going to be the case. It really depends, like, what's going on here. But this is definitely a character we can beat the first boss with. And hello, Noshi. How you doing, man? Especially because this, the Dragon Shout, because that's basically what it is, actually destroys projectiles, which is very handy for bosses. Oh, okay. So, for example, if I do that, you see, it destroys what he did. Again, we should not be wasting our mana here. We should be saving it for said boss. But I'm sure we're going to get some more mana potions and things at some point. It's really kind of difficult. Not being able to see you clearly up close. It's a little weird. It's a little, little weird. Might make it difficult to fight the boss, but still. So that's going to be our plan here. Do not take damage. Get to the boss. I mean, grab as many, you know, as much gold and blueprints and stuff like that as we can along the way. But ultimately, we're trying to beat the boss this run. I'm not even going to fight that painting. Going to loot the rest of this place. I wonder if the gold chandeliers have a higher chance of paying out with anything. I don't think so. I think all furnish is the same. Except, you know, those... Oh god, it's a high level painting! She left it alone, man, she left it alone. Uh, except those, uh, you know, special statues next to... Stuff like this, exactly. So this is the mire entrance? Man, we found that quick, holy crap. Yeah, let's not go to the mire yet. That seems like a bad idea. Uh, you'll also know from the uh, the journal entries roughly where you should be in the game because they, they show up at a fairly consistent rate and it's it's actually pretty good the way they've done it because usually when you should have beaten the first boss you'll get a journal entry show up and it will be like I have just defeated like you know such and such boss and I'm moving on to the forest that kind of thing so you know if you haven't done that yet that's the point where the game's like yo you, you need to like go kill the boss man so if you're ahead of that curve then you're doing well at least I would say so this is one of those weird rooms where it's just a shitload of dudes trapped in boxes. It's very strange. It does appear to be a chest over here. Is it safe down here? Oh, okay. 
Oh look, it's a chest we can get to as a dwarf. Well, what do you know? Get dunked on, son. Oh god. Oh, you know, you can just stamp on me. Christ. Alright, we got some money. That's about all we got, but we got some money. Get out of here. I hate these chargy dudes. They get much worse. They get much, much worse. Because there is a, a level 2 and 3 variant of, I think, every single enemy. So, for example, these guys, there's a level 2 variant, which I think is, um, like, red and bigger. And then there's a level 3 variant, which I think is basically Botus. So, like... And the thing is as well, when you beat New Game, all the enemies get upgraded to the second level variant. And same when you beat New Game Plus. So, it gets pretty freaking nuts. Oh, this is a fairy chest challenge, we've got to beat all the enemies. It gets pretty freaking nuts. I should not be aggroing like 20,000 paintings, this is a really bad idea. Should also be dealing with those eyeballs, because they can shoot us from all over the place. Yeah, when you get to uh, New Game Plus Plus or whatever the hell you want to call it, oh god, it needs to take damage. You end up with, again, like just giant enemies shooting. It, it becomes like a bullet hell. It's actually freaking crazy. Okay, stop, stop. Taking so much damage. Yoink. Yeah, get out of here. Yeah. No, no, ah! Oh my god, how did I get away from that? We'd be on the enemy. No, you're a painting. Oh my god. Oh, good, it's the higher level one. Great, yeah, awesome. Yeah, fantastic. Love it. I have 11 HP. Don't die here. I want this I want this reward. I want this reward. God damn it. Okay, just take your time. Take your sweet ass time. Take your sweet ass time. Okay. Okay, we can't keep taking time. Oh, Christ. Okay, he's dead. There's another painting. You shit me? I think that's a level one painting. Okay, we did it. We got the bloodier room. We are so nearly dead. This is really bad. Huh. Jason, please die. The blurriest of your eyes is hurting. Uh, yeah, I know. I don't like it either. You know what? That room sucks. We're not going in that room. I don't want to die, though, man. Okay. Just make sure there's nothing else here to attack me immediately. Oh, no, there is. Okay. Let's deal with you first. Steady. Steady. Please die. Thank you. Nope. Go away. Eh. Okay, give me that chest. See my ch The game is- I'm not kidding, we're getting really unlucky with lack of blueprints here. It's actually kind of staggering. We still have one, I think. Did we get that from a silver chest? I think we did. Again, like, you get them more from the silver trip chest, but god damn. Like, normally when you have basically no blueprints, the, ga the game hands them out like candy, like, here, go have another blueprint. Nope. Uh, okay, so this statue can either curse us or give us a boon. There is only one curse. We will probably get the curse. We did not get the curse. We got Hermes Boots. I think that allows you to stand on spikes without taking damage. I don't really want to test it, but I think that's what it does. If so, really good. Oh, thank you, chicken. Thank you. So this is the forest? No, that's the ooh, that's the dungeon. Yep, okay, we're not going to the dungeon. Hell no, that's literally the last area of the game that you should be going to. Maybe you get a monocle or something. I, I don't think you can. I think it's just... This is one of those things you just have to deal with for the run. Don't worry, we'll be dying soon. We're on 30 HP. And we are. I still want to try and beat the boss. God damn it. Fucking hate these zombies. I still want to try and beat the boss. But, you know. Uh. Uh. Well, we're, we're, we're 5 HP. That's. That's how that sentence ends. They can actually hit you with the bones from below, yeah. Oh, Lord. Alright, you know what? Excuse me. Leaving. Excuse me. Leaving. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's that's fine. Just don't get hit. Jason, don't get hit. It's very important you don't get hit. Hey, buddy! Get club it, son! Oh! Alright, that's a lot of fireballs, man. Stop it. That was not what I meant to do. You do have that down attack. I just jumped into him. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. We got we got some stuff. We didn't really get much at all, really. The game's being a bit of a dick. So, Shinobi, a fast hero deals massive damage, but you cannot crit. I was right. OCD, you restore, I think, 1 MP every time you break a piece of furniture. Attacks, knock enemies back, and we have the dagger. Right. This, again, is a good character, especially because of the high damage to potentially take out the boss. But Christ, game, give me, like, some frickin', uh... Give me some goddamn things. 
So we got a uh, rune that allows us to move faster. However, as you can see, it's equipped on our sword. So if we equip that, we get rid of the dash rune. That's the only dash rune we currently have. We don't have any other rune for our chest, our gauntlets, or our cape. So we can't really afford that because we need the dash. You should have listened, Jason. He told you not to get hit. I mean, true, yeah. Uh, do we have any more equipment? I don't think we do because, again, we don't get blueprints. The game is being a bit of a bastard. Yeah, nope. No cape, no nothing. All right, fine. Play like that, game. Play like that. Can I upgrade the Shinobi, maybe? So there you go, this is the Haggle thing. As you see, it's got five levels, 10% every time, so yeah, 50% of your gold at most you can keep. Never really care that much about that. I'm gonna up my equipment burden, because it's gonna be important, and I'm gonna get damage up. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy with that. So we should hit pretty hard now. 66 is not bad. It's not bad at all. So again, if we can get to the boss quickly, preferably without taking damage, we can maybe beat it. But we gotta freaking find the boss. That's right, we're quick as balls as well. Love it. So you can, can one-shot like a lot of stuff. This room sucks. This room actually sucks. Yeah, it's never go back there ever again. Huh, huh. <laughs> Do you like the Shinobi, yeah? Do you like this damage that I'm doing? Yeah. Me too. I want that chest. Alright, so what we do is... God damn, that was close. Freaking zombie. Die in a fire, I hate you. Okay. No, die, die in a fire. Thank you. Yo, game! Give me a bloody blueprint! Holy crap! Yeah, my HP is very low. Like I said, he's a glass cannon. Oh my god. What the? <laughs> I'm like a deer in headlights. I'm like, can't fuck this up. That's a mini boss. We're not fighting that right now. Because I, Especially because I just took damage and that thing will hit like a truck. Good lord. I'm actually not normally pretty good at that room with all those spiky balls. I more than not pull that off. Not today. Not today. I'm getting stage fright, man. I'm overthinking it. That actually very well could be true. I'm probably like, well, don't want to fuck this up. Otherwise, everyone's going to laugh at me. And then I'm like, oh, I'm just standing here. Oh, I fucked it up. Because I think the easiest thing to do that... The easiest way to do that room is to move quickly. This room sucks. Okay, that was beautiful. It was actually be yo, seriously. Like you're actually being really stingy with the blueprints to a ludicrous degree. No. Whoa. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, don't fall in the spikes, you idiot. Just do that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's like a high level uh, one of those dudes. Okie dokie. That doesn't hit him. Okay. Oh, why did I jump? I panicked. Oh, god damn it. It's gonna be really hard to- Why is this, like, a thing? Fuck me. Seriously? Is there a guy over there? Alright, we need to deal with the other turret. Oh, my god. This room! I actually hate you right now, video game. Why I walked into it? Oh, my god. Oh. My god. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. You know what? We just gotta pick a Shinobi again. We gotta pretend that didn't happen, because guess what? It didn't happen. That run didn't exist. It didn't happen. Holy shit. I was like, I gotta get to the other side to take out the dude so I can take out the dude in the middle, because it's like a big tanky, like... <laughs> that happens a lot. I just, like, bump into enemies like a freaking clown. I... Oh my god, you couldn't make this shit up. You could not make this shit up. <laughs> just die. Just goddamn die. You die as well. Okay, give me that money. That's sweet, sweet cash oil. I know it's 10 gold there. I don't care that much. It's 10 gold. Yeah. Thank you for the 100 gold sack. What the hell happened? They just changed direction. Nope, I'm fine. I'm not sorry at all. Holy crap. Now you know what? I'm leaving the room. Deal with you. Deal with you. Deal with you. All right. There's a chest down there. Lovely. Let's go get the chest, shall we? Oh, they get good! Thank you! Blood sword. That's actually a really good, uh, really good blueprint. It's, it's like a pretty weak sword offensively. Uh, and blood wep blood equipment takes down your maximum HP, but it gives you life steal. Not much, I think it's like two, so you store like two life per enemy that you kill. Because yeah, it's per kill, not per hit. Uh, so still, very handy. Hello big bird, how you doing? Oh, there's a chest over there. Dunk. Dunk, dunk, I said dunk, okay. Ooh, careful. 
Nope. Oh, Lord. Why is there a high-level dude in, like, every room, man? What is going on right now? Okay, he's dead. I took so much damage. I took so much damage. Okay, it's fine. I swear, there's, like, a high-level variant in every freaking room we go in. Defeat all the enemies. Ah, uh, okay, so... Ah, uh, you know the twin scythe, like, spell? If you stand here and shoot it, it will hit both those enemies. So basically, you need the twin scythe spell in order to get this fairy chest. We do not have it, so we cannot. But that's okay, it happens, it happens, it's fine, it's fine, thank you for the turkey leg, thank you. We can now maybe start to build this run back up again, because god damn, we took so long, so much HP. Gungeon is even more brutal. This game, though, like, I love it to death. It feels a little cheap in places, I'm not gonna lie. Like, it really does. Ugh. Also, like, RNG fucks you a lot more in this game, because again, we keep running to, like, high-level variants of enemies in certain rooms, and it, it's rare that they show up. Like, it really is. And we've had, like, three in, like, two runs or something. Like, give a brother a break, man. Also, give a brother a freaking blueprint. Again, you, you'll notice the only blueprints we've had are from the Silver Trim chest, but it's not like they can't show up from the other ones. They can. They're just a bit rarer. Not even that much rarer. Like, more often than not, when I first start this game, you'll get, like, if you open, like, five of those regular chests, you might get, like, two blueprints. Like, they're not that rare. Which, ah, ball. Okay. We're just not getting lucky. Or we get unlucky. One of the two. I don't know which. Let's go down. Okay, we're gonna keep dying. Yeah, 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 okay. Okay. That's fine. We can kill this through the wall. May as well get rid of them. Just in case. Didn't need that. Don't know why I picked it up. Is this the... Nope, not the Maya. Nope. Never ever shoot me. Is there a chest in here? Where the hell are we? No, there's not a chest. Okay. Alright. That's fine. Get out of here. Can we have some requests on now? Nope. <laughs> this is probably going up on YouTube. Alright, believe me, I wish I could put a copyright music on YouTube, but they don't allow it. This is another high level variant. It's like, what is going on with this? They're genuinely really rare. Like, I can't stress that enough. Like, Christ almighty. Alright, that's uh, definitely a mimic. Why would a painting be that low? Okay. Okay. We're alive. It's going just fine. It's going just fine. This room sucked in there. Yep. Is there a teleporter? Nope, we gotta go back through here. Alright, cool. Awesome! Awesome! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Okay, Dwarf Paladin, sure, we'll go with the Dwarf Paladin. My god. Uh, so we did get a blueprint, it was the Blood Sword, I believe. I think this might do- it still does a little bit more- look how much HP down I get, you get, though. Like, that's a lot. We can equip it, though, so we're definitely gonna go for the Blood Sword. I don't think we got a rune, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think we did. Uh, we should upgrade some of this stuff so we can- like, the first time you upgrade something, for example, this, usually unlocks- more stuff that you can get, as you can see, because now we can get the unlock Miner. Miner is a crappy character that is just for getting gold, I think. But still. I work hard for the money. So hard for the money. Always something, something money. Come on, give me lots of money. Dude, I love that song. And thank you very much to, apparently, Sharon for the $5.64 a gift for a good customer. Thank you. <laughs> You're very kind. Are you implying that I keep dying? <laughs> Whoever that was, thank you. I love you. Like I said, you are very kind. Oh my god. I we should have been the first boss by now. Like, I'm dying like a motherfucker. Like, I expected to be a little rusty. I didn't expect to be this rusty. Like, this is, this is ridiculous. This is actually ridiculous. Alright, I wanted that gold really bad, as you can tell. Just trying to avoid the really crappy rooms for now. Alright, just a room to smash things in. That's fine. Don't really need those potions, but thank you. As you can see, by the way, when you leave a room and come back, the uh, the drops disappear. So you can't just leave a chicken like that. Uh, this restores health and mana. I think it's like... It's something like 60% of your HP or 40%, something like that. Something like that. I don't think it's exactly half, though it might be. But the point is it's good. So we... God damn it. So we want to leave it for later. Uh, if we ever get back there alive. Which I'm not making any guarantees of that. Again, we're just trying to find the boss for now. If nothing else, even if we don't beat the boss, we'll get those two chests underneath the boss, which... Uh, it could be very, very handy. Yeah, I was a little scared there. I didn't really want to jump, but I was like, Oh, that guy's coming. We kind of got to go for it. Holy crap. Okay. Room full of spikes. Room full of spikes. Room full of spikes. Just keep moving, man. Just keep moving. 
Just keep moving. Okay. Give me the potion. I don't need it. It doesn't do anything, but I really wanted it. Right, get rid of you, and then you. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful. You see, we can actually one-shot some of the crappy enemies now, because we upgrade our, our strength a little bit, even on this uh, Paladin. Not that the Paladin has bad stats, but... Shinobi he is not. We found the boss. I'm actually going to try and find it. I think we can do it. Maybe, potentially, possibly, but probably not. Let's go! Let's go! We can do it! Ah! So this is... Kida? Kaida? I don't know how you say it. He's the gatekeeper. He's a giant bloody eyeball. Let's beat the shit out of him. He actually is not that bad at all. However, I am bad. We've been over this. Those in the corner are spikes. That's the most dangerous part of the room. He's so tanky. I do such little damage. Oh, no, the spikes. Okay, it's fine. Oh, excuse me. Oh, Lord. Okay. Oh, why did I just jump in him? What the hell, Jason? No! That was over so quick. We half killed him. It wasn't horrible. <laughs> I don't know. I jumped into him, which apparently I keep doing. We might have been okay there. This guy's actually got a really good trait. He's got PAD, PAD, Peripheral Arterial Disease, which means you don't set off spike traps when you walk on them. Right, let's go for it again. Looks like the final boss from Dead Cells. Uh, a little bit, a little bit. It's got like the whole eyeball thing going on. <laughs> I love how quick that fight was. It's just like, I'm in, he's half dead, I'm dead. So, like, alright then. Oh, come on. Jesus Christ, man. The freaking fire boss. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't horrible. It was very quick, but we almost had it. Yeah, I, I like your stress. Again, I have beaten him with that very first vanilla character that doesn't even have a double jump or a dash. I am so rusty, it's unbelievable. I, I swear I used to be better. I swear. But hey, maybe me sucking is amusing. I don't know. Maybe it's infuriating. Uh, this one's self-explanatory, although I very... I, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I was going to say, I very rarely ever achieve that room. I have, though. This is a mini-boss. This is Berithan... I can't remember the other guy's name. Now, this guy enrages when the... Well, one of them enrages when the other one's dead. Halfus, that's right. Halfus and Berith. So, you really should weaken, like, one of them and then kill the other. I didn't want to do that. This is a stat upgrade chest. You get it from mini-bosses. Uh, and again, when you clear out all the runes, at least in the current area, you start getting stat upgrades from those chests as well. We did something. We beat something that was somewhat slightly challenging, and we didn't completely utterly fuck it up. I am... I'm proud of us. I'm proud of us. Holy crap. So many projectiles and zombies and... Get out of here! Good lord, man. Alright. Just just chill out, everyone. There's too many things shooting at me at once. Let's leave this horrible, horrible room of death. Why are you still alive? Get out of here. Yeah, didn't I was like a stand on the bookcase, did you, you motherfucker? Ah, ah. Okay, that's fine. You hit me, but it's fine. It's not that bad. We're not doing that bad. Chicken. All right. It's not the boss, so it's going to be the entrance to the Maya. Let's go back down. I said go back down. We're just fine. Boop. Oh. Okay. I actually expected this to be a mini boss room because more often than not. This is the second area of the game, by the way. More often than not, a mini-boss room is like an area you jump up to like this, and then, you know, like Halfus and Bereth. They're on either side of you. It was not a mini-boss room. Didn't need that. Oh, I need 2 HP from that. That was a waste. That was a waste. Get rid of these dudes, I guess. They make the little, uh, you know, like, earth pillars underneath you. Oh, of course you, yeah, of course you gave me that. Thank you, game. Um, the boss is maybe going to be, like, down a bit. I don't even know. I don't even know. Are there any enemies in this room that I left alive? No, good. Yeah. Come here, buddy. There you go. Okay. If I were a boss, where would I be? Probably down here. Nope. Probably here. Nope. Yeah, I seriously wish I want to find a boss. I want, I want to redeem myself, and also I want the chests. Oh, Lord. Okay. Here. Yes, okay. Good, we got a blueprint. Night Helm and money. All right. You know, it makes sense. Makes sense. We got enough blueprints now that I'm not, like, super salty. Not getting blueprints out of the gray chests. Brown chests, whatever they are. All right, in we go. We can do it this time. We can just don't jump into him like a freaking moron.
Oh, we have pet, don't we? Which means these things do not activate. That's gonna make our lives a lot easier. Yes, okay. This might be the setup we needed. Alright, you do need to avoid this, though. Go back this way. Whoop, okay. That was, I mean, a little, little, uh, little, little wonky, but it worked. Careful. Yeah, careful. He's dying. The second boss is significantly harder than this guy, by the way. We did it! Sweet redemption, thy name be Jason. Give me my goddamn money, you sons of bitches. Thank you everybody for watching the video, hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did and you want to support me, you can either click the like button, or if you are feeling especially generous, I have a Patreon page at patreon.com slash LP where you can donate per month however much you wish. There are certain rewards, one of which in the $10 plus tier reward is to have your name shout out in the end credits. So this month we have... Don Lobo, I'll be jiggered, Arctic Stoat, Billy Nine, Dr. Papa Penguin, Philip Rep, aka Bebop56210, Grandpa Gus, Source of Success, Hitbox, and that is it this month. Thank you everybody, and thank you to everybody in the $5 plus tier who should be on screen now. And thank you to everybody else in the lower tiers. I love you all. You guys are awesome. Good night everybody, and goodbye!